to my channel and I did a half cut crease from the inner corners today and I'm really liking how it turned out. I mean, uh, this is kind of a complicated look but it looks so cool and I'm kind of impressed with uh, myself here and I'm uh, going with a bold br a bright red lip uh, you can do whatever you want but I basically uh, saw on doing this particular look but then I really like how it turned out and uh, if you guys want to know how I got this look then uh, just keep watching Hey guys, so today I'm going to start off with eye primer. Um, this is the Color Bar Timeless Pro Long Stay Makeup. This is a foundation which I use for my eyes because it doesn't suit my face. And I'm going to blend it with my fingers. And as you can see, my inner corners are kind of dark. I really wanted to put a concealer, but before that, I'm setting my uh, eyelids. And this is the setting powder by color essence i had to do it after concealer but then we just did it anyways so i'm going to cover up my inner corners and i'm going to use this concealer and this is by lacme this is the absolute face uh, stylist concealer in honey i'm going to blend it all out with a real techniques miracle sponge as you can see now my eyes are already brightened up and the inner corner doesn't look very tiresome uh, giving me a very very dull look so I'm going with my eyes now and I'm going to take a dark color eyeshadow which suits my skin tone uh, this is the sandbar beige by Estee Lauder color portfolio and over that I'll be going with another uh, a shade or two darker than what I used first uh, this is wild sable and I'm going with another color called pretty penny so as you can see I'm going darker after each shadow because I'm going to intensify the crease and you can see not only crease I'm intensifying the inner corners as well so this is the half cut tutorial that's why I'm focusing more on the inner corner more than the outer V as we normally do in order to uh, darken up the crease and I'm going with another brush now because first I used the same brush uh, for three different tones of dark brown now I'm going with another color and this is called berry burst you can use any dark color guys uh, but then just make sure that it's in the same uh, tone color toned range like I used three different shades of brown then I went for the berry uh, color but before that I did use a dark color brown so if you're going light go with a little bit darker and then a little bit darker and then the darkest so now I'm going to take this uh, concealer this is the same one which we used to uh, prime our eyelids I'm going in the inner half and I'm going to carve out the inner V as you can see I put a lot of color in the inner corners while blending the dark color and that's why the carving is becoming easier and I'm going above the crease even for the blending purpose I did go over the crease not just the crease because we were supposed to cut the crease so we have to work a little more higher than the actual crease area so as you can see I drew a stencil first and then I'm going over with the concealer again uh, because it doesn't blend very well and I need that perfect base and I'm not going to touch the outer V at all the main focus is our inner corner and because of the color the dark colors uh, the inner corner cut crease is really drawn very nicely and I'm going to set that concealer which we drew with a setting powder again and you can use any eyeshadow also for that purpose I'm just going to use the same old setting powder uh, by color essence And then I'm going with a dark color uh, eyeshadow in the outer V just to smoke it out. Uh, this is the black chrome matte uh, black eyeshadow by Estee Lauder. And I'm just going to smoke out the outer V because it obviously we need some color there otherwise it will look very shabby. And I'm going to mix it with lavish mink. This is uh, another dark color by Estee Lauder. And in the crease and in the crease I'm going with this pretty penny eyeshadow which I used in the crease itself it's a very brownish color it has got shimmers but it's not that intense I'm going to put that in the middle uh, just in the middle to 
get the concealer thingy and the black the dark part together i'm going to blend it all nicely and i'm going with the black as well as the grayish green color i don't know how to explain it it's called lavish mink so i'm going to smoke it out and i'm going with the crease again with pretty penny so we're going to ba go back and forth to, to get that achieved look so yeah now that everything is done we're going to move on to uh, the rest of the things So for my eyeliner I'm going to use the Nykaa's Black Magic Liquid Liner and I'm going to draw a dramatic wing because I believe it complements this look really really well. And uh, for mascara I'll be using uh, Maybelline's Hyper Curl Volume Express but surprisingly I'm also going to use false lashes. Yes, this is going to be really dramatic guys. Uh, I don't do such dramatic looks but then you know i just went all the way today so before finishing off i took this foundation this is the jerry g foundation in uh, medium and it's kind of difficult to blend it all out with a beauty blender or a sponge basically so i would normally use a makeup brush but then i thought of using this and let me tell you guys if you are having this uh, use a brush and it's actually really good because uh, the sheer coverage doesn't make justice to how it looks in person and also in camera so as i'm using this uh, like i took a really good amount and i'm using it i actually started liking how it looks on my skin guys it it has really nice satin finish and i really like it um you should you should check it out it's it's a really nice foundation and um same old uh, concealer this is the lacme absolute face stylist concealer in all the problematic areas like under eyes uh, forehead as well as uh, chin just to brighten up the whole face but guys this i mean this looks amazing this whole combination i really liked how the foundation and concealer settled with each other now uh, as we are done i am going to set my concealer as well as foundation with the same setting powder by color essence um it's actually a really good powder i mean it's very cost effective you can get it at nykaa it's it's amazing i'm using a real techniques uh, buffer brush for this and I'm taking this uh, what is this called this is a blush by Estee Lauder again it's from same color portfolio range and I used this uh, for a shadow as a shadow for my cheeks something like contour but not exactly contour um you can use anything you have it's called a luring rose and bronzing my face with the same bronze goddess in the shade medium by Estee Lauder So we're going to quickly uh, move on to mascara, and I, I did mention that earlier, right? Uh, this is the hyper curl mascara, and then we're going to use falsies, and these falsies are from Ardell. I got it from Jabong a long time ago, but I never used it. I love this. I love how it turned out, guys. If you are using falsies, uh, I would suggest go for a good brand. Go for a good branded glue. Otherwise, it really won't work out. you really need to use a good branded uh, lashes otherwise i tried using the faces one uh, it it totally sucked it totally messed up my look it it would come out in between and it totally sucked so this really turned out to be good and it's so dramatic i love how fluttery and uh, pretty pretty they are i think it's in a uh, lacy black or something i'll link it in the Uh, description box below i also went ahead with a gel or uh, no what's it called glue it's dark colored one not the clear one so and go over with eyeliner always uh, to cover up the glue basically and in the lower lash line i'm going with uh, this black and lavish mink eye shadow in the rim first and i'm going to blend it all out with berry burst and also i'm going in the inner corners with what is this called um 
it's called waves you can use any shimmery uh, highlight shade in the inner corners as well as brow bone uh, honestly i don't understand the fuss about highlights everything looks the same on me uh, i don't really understand the jazz i'm using this elf golden bronzer for highlight again you can use anything you have uh, even one highlight is good for your vanity uh, i really don't recommend you to go all out for different kind of highlights it doesn't really make sense so i'm going with the high points and nose and everything and for my lips i'm going to take this uh, city colors uh, lipstick in b at the b mat range it's in the shade branda it's a very vinish wine red uh, color i really like how it turned out guys and i'm going to finish off with this makeup setting spray this is by mua makeup academy's uh, fixing mist and uh, it's the pro base fixing mist and this is the whole look guys so guys that was it uh, i hope you really enjoyed this look and if you have any questions or any suggestions then please leave them in the comments down below and please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and uh, please follow me on other social media i'll put the link Uh, right after I'm done speaking. So, all right, guys. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys really soon in my next one. Bye.